morning, buongiorno, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today for Makeup Monday, I'm gonna be teaching something about something that women, a lot of women don't know how to use properly. Um, I did a video recently about how to prep a makeup sponge. And then I got so many questions saying, well, thank you so much for that tip. I had no idea, but how do you use it? So this is like a little bit of a continuation of the video that I had done previously. Real quickly though, let me show you um, the difference between a dry makeup sponge, see how tiny it is, and it's very dense, it's dry. This is what it comes and looks like out of the package. This is a prepped makeup sponge that is ready to work. This one has been run under water um, and squeezed out fully. So there's when it's touching my skin, it's not getting leaving little puddles of water or anything. It's just barely damp. So it's I rang it out really, really well, and now it's ready to be used. And so if you want a little tutorial on how to really prep that for more visual, then I will share that um, video at the end of this one, okay? So this one is what you see out of the package. It's not ready to be used. This one right here is ready to be used. So I'm gonna share with you how to use a makeup sponge um, and the awesome benefits of it, okay? First though, I need to put some makeup on my face. So I'm going to be using um, a, one brush, one brush, my clean fingers, and my compact with custom colors in it. it has my foundation, my highlight, my lip color, my cheek color, my illuminator, all the things right here in my compact. So I'm just going to really quickly slap some makeup on my face, and then um, I will show you the magic of a makeup sponge. The purpose of a makeup sponge is to help blend your makeup and really get it in um, those wrinkles, those creases, those pores, so you have a nice flawless, flawless finish. So real quickly, I'm just um, color correcting those spots on my face where I have, I have dark circles under my eyes, I have redness on my nose. I'm just using my finger just real quickly to color correct those areas. And then I'll go over with my, like my foundation color and my contour color. I love just taking a few minutes to get yourself ready. It shouldn't take a long time. So now I can um, take my foundation color and just slop it on. We're just kind of finger painting. This is a, a, a really fast method that I like to use when I'm in a hurry and I don't have a lot of time to focus on my face, but I still wanna look beautiful and I still wanna look ready and um, get out there and look put together. So I'm just putting my foundation on the areas of my skin where um, I need some evening out, okay? And then I'm gonna go under with my under my eyes with a lighter color to brighten that a bit because who doesn't want to look a little bit more awake and alive? I am an eye, night owl and I have been staying up way too late and so I'm paying for it lately. Now I'm gonna use um, my contour color. It's my favorite part. I'm gonna find my cheekbone and just draw a line right along my cheekbone. And it look really funny right now, but um, we're gonna blend and it's gonna look beautiful. And then with our makeup sponge, we're gonna look extra flawless. A little bit on my nose my forehead to add some dimension. It is like finger painting, seriously, it's so easy. On my jawline, right now last step is my cheek color. Add some rosiness and color to my cheeks. Okay, so now I look pretty funny, right? All I need now is um, my brush and I'm just going to quickly blend it and then I'll show you what I use my makeup sponge for. You could actually use your, your sponge to blend the whole look at this point. That would totally work. I prefer to use my brush and then use my sponge. So that's the method I'm gonna show you. There are different methods. That's the beautiful thing about makeup and um, beauty routine is you just try a few different methods out and you see what works best for you because no face is the same. Um, we all have different skin types. We all have different problem areas and so it's kind of trial and error you 
you can find some great tips. You can try things, some things out and then do what works best for you, for your lifestyle, for the time that you have, for your skin, all the things. So I'm just giving you some ideas that you can try out and see what you like the best for you. Okay, so see how quickly that was? I just blended that makeup really quickly. So now I'm gonna take my prepped makeup sponge. Remember it's damp, but it's not, if I were to squeeze it right now, I would not get any water out of it. It's just slightly damp, okay? So now, this is the cool thing about makeup sponge. So maybe I didn't blend perfectly with that brush. I did it really fast. So maybe there's a little bit um, laying up, makeup laying on the surface still. Um, maybe I put too much blush in one spot and I kind of want to blend it up around and tame it, that, that color a little bit. That's what this makeup sponge is for. It's all about pressing in the product so it gets right into those wrinkles, those cracks, those creases, your pores, so it looks flawless because you don't want your makeup looking like you have a layer just sitting on the surface of your face. You wanna make it look like it belongs, like it's your second skin. So that's the beauty of this makeup sponge is you just take it and you press. You are not swiping because that will wipe off your makeup. You are just pressing it in. You're not getting rid of the makeup. You're just pressing it in. Or if you have too much makeup on, it can help absorb a little bit of that. So I'm just pressing. I mostly focus on like under my eye area and my cheek and my contour area because those are the, the places where I have the most color. So that's where I want to make it look flawless and really press that makeup in. So I'm dabbing, pressing, bouncing, whatever you wanna say. Um, so you can see a little bit of makeup is on um, my sponge. It's just because it's helping it press right into my skin. So now I'm, gonna, I'm getting rid of any lines that I might not have blended very well, getting rid of any of the excess where I might have too much color along your nose, just press. You don't have to press a lot if you feel like you did a good job blending, but you can just do one light pressing all around your face and then your makeup is nicely set and press into your face. Now you have that nice, let's get it real close and personal. Now you have a nice flawless finish. You don't see any of my makeup um, sitting on the surface of my skin. It is like now part of me. It looks like I woke up like this, <laughs> even though we know that we, I didn't because I just had some dark circles and some redness on my face. So that is how you properly use a makeup sponge. You can also use this. So like I said, you don't have to use a brush to blend. You can just use this to do all the blending for you. So there's two different ways to use it. You can also use it to apply powder. So let me show you how you could do that. Um, here's my powder on my other side of my compact. I can just dab it or wipe it into my powder and then I can press the powder exactly where I want on my face. Okay, so it can, it can apply your powder. Um, it can apply your illuminator. Let's do that right here. There's my powder illuminator. So bounce it into that and you can apply it right here and you have that nice shimmer right along your cheekbone. So a makeup sponge is a really great tool to have in your makeup kit because it can do lots of cool things for you and it will just help enhance your beauty routine and help you have that flat, flawless finish and apply um, makeup and do lots of things. So I'm all about versatility. I'm all about um, using the products that you have in more than one way and making them work for you. So this is such a great little buddy to have in your makeup kit. I got my look with just one compact, a brush and a makeup sponge. So if you have questions about how to use a makeup sponge, let me know. Um, I'm happy to help, but I will also link to my favorite makeup sponge because they are not all created equally. I have tried many. Um, you can get them like at any drugstore, any uh, Amazon or Target or Walmart or any place that sells beauty products, you can find them, but they're not all created equally. And this one right here is my absolute favorite because it's nice, it's like a cloud. <laughs> not all of them are like that, a lot of them are stiff and it's really hard to, to work with. So please let me know if you have questions. I will answer them and um, I will let you know what my favorite makeup sponge is too. And if you wanna know what kind of makeup that I'm using, I'm happy to share that with you as well. I'm also really happy to help you figure out what colors will look best on your skin because 
having the right colors is a game changer. You don't want to be putting the wrong colors on your face because that won't be the most flattering for you. So have a fabulous day. Please reach out to me and um, I will talk to you all later.